Okay guys, we are back with another weekly update. See, I'm back on this schedule. I'm doing good here. We got two weeks, two weeks in a row. We're doing good. All right. So um, I'm going to go over what happened this past week with me and then the remainder of this video. I'm going to show you some more behind the scenes stuff from Cuties Conquer in the Stage. Uh, I've got lots of video and things like that to show you this time around. So enjoy. Um, but let's talk about what's happening right now. So. Um, Everything is looking fantastic. Um, after Cutie Snark on the stage, like everything's been going so good as far as my food, my digestion, my training, uh, my sleep. It's all been the best it's been in a very long time. And I attribute that to less stress. <laughs> you guys know stress is such a huge killer. Um, make sure that you try to de-stress as much as possible. Cuties Conference stage puts a lot of stress on me. Just, you know, it's good stress, but it's it's a big event. And, and as soon as that's over, I can just go and kind of breathe. And that's basically what happened this past week. My training has been perfect. Um, diet has been perfect. Uh, digestion, which for me is a big deal, has been perfect. Um, inflammation is down, everything. I'm gonna put up on the screen here videos from when I met with Jamie in person at the Olympia in Vegas versus when I met with Jamie in person at Cuties Conquering the Stage um, after I got sick. And the amount of inflammation that I had in my body in December in comparison to now is crazy. Like you can see it. So the one thing I will say is that, you know, when I went through the sickness and all that kind of stuff, I did lose a lot of pop in my glutes and things like that. But all of that is coming back now. I saw it in my progress photos. I still need to grow. That is still the focus. Um, but you know, I'm seeing everything moving in a really positive direction and I'm keeping my inflammation down. Um, I am a little bit puffy this week, but that's just because I'm on my, on my period. I'm on my monthly cycle. That's what happens. So I expect that to go down in the next couple of days and we'll be right back to where I feel like is like the perfect spot for me. Right? So we aren't changing anything this week. Um, just going to let my, my cycle ride out, um, so that I can get into next week and see where I am. Um, now Jamie is going on vacation, so I will be checking in early. I'll be checking in on Tuesday instead of Thursday, like I typically do. So it won't be a full week before I have my next check-in. Uh, so I may update you guys a little early next week. We'll see, we'll see how that goes because we also have our athlete search going on for my company as well right now. So if you're not in that, you need to get into the athlete search. I'll put the link in the description box below. It's a free entry. Um, you just get involved. We have a Facebook group going on right now and the girls are all in there talking to each other and everything that's really cool. I'm watching everything because I need to pick people to sponsor this year. So um, I am the, I'm the, I'm the, the gatekeeper. I'm the judge for this particular contest, right? Um, so anyway, back to physique stuff. So again, my, my training has been really, really good. I've been really focusing hard on that. And I've also been focusing on like the recovery aspect of it. Um, I got back to Massage Hope again. Uh, I've been out of there for a while because of the sickness and everything too. So it felt good to get back there. Uh, I was able to open up my back a whole lot better uh, the last two days from that, that massage. I need to get back on a regular schedule with going every two weeks. Um, and then I'll feel a lot better with that. Sleep has been always an issue for me. I've done all sorts of things when it comes to trying to get better sleep. And... Um, I think what's triggering it to be good now is I'm taking a concoction of supplements at night to help me sleep better, help with inflammation, stuff like turmeric and things like that. Um, and it's stuff that I've been taking for the last month since I was sick to help with getting over the sickness. So I really think that those supplements are actually helping me sleep better. Um, I also have a better setup when it comes to sleep. So one of the things I did too while I was sick is we have a guest bedroom and I slept in there so that I wouldn't get my husband sick. And what I found was I slept a whole lot better in there. So on the nights before I do a check-in, so on Wednesday nights, I go and I sleep in the bedroom, the guest bedroom, because I know I'm not going to get woken up by him snoring or the dogs. The dogs is, are really the biggest problem. The dogs kick me or something like that. Um, they don't bother him, but they bother me. And we have one of them that sleeps in the bed and she likes to sleep on top of me. So... But in general, even sleeping in the normal bed, I am getting way better sleep than I ever did. And I just make sure that the night before I check in, I am in the guest bedroom so I don't have any interruptions in my sleep at all. 
This is something that I do all the time. I try to make my day before my check-ins as consistent as possible. I do all of the same things on Wednesday that I do all of the time. So I don't train legs and glutes on Wednesday on purpose because I know that will tend to make me hold inflammation in water. So I don't do one of those days the day before I'm gonna check in. Anything that's gonna make me retain and hold inflammation, I don't do it the day before I check in because I don't wanna see that inflammation. I wanna see a true measure of my body, right? Sleep is a big one. Um, I always take an Epsom salt bath on Wednesday. That's something else that I do too. I take Epsom salt baths at least once a week, if not twice. I try to do them on Sundays and also on Wednesdays. Um, so I do that on Wednesdays as well. I always put my self tanner on on Wednesday night so that on, one, on Thursday morning I have a little bit of a tan going. I literally try to keep everything exactly the same <laughs> because that's the only way that you can measure progress. If you have too many, too many variables going around, then you don't know what's working and you don't know what's not working, right? So again, I try to keep my diet as close to the same on Wednesdays all the time. So then that way that's not a trigger and that's not a problem. So all of those things have been helping. Um, and what was really cool is I went back and I looked at my old progress photos from the last three years of working with Jamie. Um, and it's pretty cool to see how my body has progressed. When I first started with Jamie, I had very little muscle. I had, you know, taken a couple years off and I was doing pageants and things like that. So I'd really kind of whittled the muscle down. So I was rebuilding at that point. And then my progress photos from last year, it's kind of funny because I was going into prep at that point. And now that I look back, I'm like, okay, I had some good muscle. I had some good size, but it was mostly on my upper body. Um, I had grown some in my glutes. I'd grown some in my legs, but most of my thickness was really my upper body, which is, you know, where I came from. I came from figure. So that makes sense. That's where my body genetically likes to grow its best. It doesn't like to grow on my lower half. <laughs> so um, I looked at those photos and I was like, oh, okay. I look actually pretty good muscle wise on my upper body, but you can see how much more I actually really needed on my lower body. Now this year I'm looking at my photos and I'm like, oh my goodness, like I'm starting to look like a bikini girl now, finally. Like I'm starting to get that thickness and that that pops my glutes, that roundness, that fullness to my glutes. Um, we're not quite there yet, but it's a whole lot better as far as shape and proportion wise as a, what I was last year. Last year I was definitely very top heavy. Um, this year I'm starting to get that, that same density that I have on my top half of my body on my lower half. So it's actually really cool to see that. And also my weight between the three years is literally within two pounds of each other. So it's the same weight, it's the same, um, same size, but the body composition and shape is vastly different. So I just say all of this to remind you that this is a long-term game. This is not a, okay, we're going to look like a bikini competitor in, in four months. That doesn't work like that. You have to have a, a full plan, like off season, on season, off season is improvement season. This is when you put all of that work into reshaping and reframing your body. And I'm really seeing that come to come to light now. So I'm actually very, very excited. So going forward again, we're not changing anything this week as far as macros and things like that are concerned. Going to see what I look like once I get through my period and all that this week. Um, and then we'll go from there. But, you know, in general, I'm very, very happy. I'm looking at the schedule for when I want to get on stage and it won't be for a while. Cause again, I still have more, I still have more uh, muscle to grow. Um, but I'm just really excited about the, the path and the direction that we're taking. So, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. Like I said last week with going through all the sickness and stuff that I did over the holidays and here we are and I'm, I'm in a, I feel like I'm in an even better spot than I was in December before all this stuff happened. So like I said last week, just ride it out. It'll be worth it. Um, you may end up actually better. And that's what I feel like right now. I feel like I'm ending up better. So with that, I hope you guys had a great week. Again, enter my athlete search if you haven't done so already. Um, that link will be in my will be in my uh, description box here on YouTube. Um, join us for our live feeds. We will be live feeding inside of the Facebook group too for the athlete search where I'm going to teach and train you guys inside the Facebook group. So you got to be in there to do that. You got to be in the athlete search to do that. Uh, and for the rest of this video, enjoy some CCTS footage because I have so much of it and I can't wait to show all of, well, not all of it cause you can't see all of it because that there's just some things you just, you have to be there. So anyway, here's some, here's some inside, inside stuff, some inside stuff. Enjoy. Okay. Just kidding. I'm going to do two weeks in a row here because uh, I didn't get a chance to edit the last one. So we're just going to smash them together. Uh, so <laughs> I've actually checked in with my coach twice this week and that is because my coach is on vacation. So she left and was like, if you typically check in during X, Y, Z time, then just do it ahead of time or just skip a week. And I don't skip weeks. 
I just don't. So I checked in on Tuesday and I also checked in today on Thursday. Um, Tuesday was rough. Uh, my husband and I had a little mini getaway. We do this a lot where we'll just go away for like a night, that kind of thing. And we did that. Um, and everything was wonderful except that I had drinks that had egg whites on them. So, you know, when they make these fancy drinks at bars, they, they use the egg whites to create foam on top. And that's what they did. And my stomach went absolutely berserk. So I realized through the whole getting sick aspect that I have a pretty bad aversion to egg whites and specifically egg whites. Eggs are okay, but egg whites specifically, I have a bad reaction to egg whites um, digestively. So I haven't had egg whites in two and a half months, something like that, a long time. And so that was the first time I had them in a very long time. And I paid dearly for that. Um, it was just, it, I was just a mess. I couldn't sleep because it was so painful in my stomach and all of that. So that I had residual effects from that even through till Tuesday. So we went out on Sunday night. That was Sunday night dinner. Um, Monday I was a mess. Uh, also I hadn't slept. So I was a mess because I was, because I hadn't slept on Monday. And then Tuesday I was just starting to get kind of normalized. So my photos were a little bit inflamed. I could see it, I could feel it, all of that. So today um, I'm pretty much through all of that now, which tends to be the case when I have a digestive problem. It usually takes me a couple of days to get back to normal. And that's where I am now. So I am back to normal. I do feel a whole lot better now. Um, my weight went and spiked up and now it's coming back down to normal. Um, I'm up, uh, just under like about a pound and a half or so some from before I had my cycle this month, which I'm okay with because I needed to fill back out. One of the things that COVID took from me was the fullness of my muscle. Uh, so as I started training more, eating normally again, that kind of thing, that stuff started coming back. So um, my waistline actually came down uh, in measurement and my hips went up, which means the fullness and the weight is going to my glutes, which is what I need. So I was okay with that. Um, so I feel really good right now. My Tuesday check-ins, I did not feel good, but I feel really good right now. So, uh, things are going to stay the same. You know, my coach is on vacation. She did actually even respond to my check-in already this morning, which I wasn't expecting. I just put it into the app so that I would have consistency and regularity with my check-ins. Uh, I even told her, I said, I don't expect a response. I just want to have this data in there for when we check in again next week. Um, and she did respond. So that was nice. Um, again, didn't expect that at all. So everything's going to stay the same this week. Um, I know now that I really do have to stay away from egg whites, period. Uh, that was a pretty significant indication. <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens this week. My strength is good, all of that kind of stuff. My energy is good. I'm getting de decent sleep again. Now that the, the digestive problems are done, the, the sleep is good. So um, we're good with all of that. Uh, I'm curious to see what I look like next week to see if, um, you know, some more fullness has come back to my glutes. I want to see a little bit more upper outer glute popping. That's been coming back over the last couple of weeks, which I'm really happy about. Um, and we'll just take it from here. Uh, that's really the only update that I have from this week. Um, I did create new designs for my suits. New year, new designs. I am adjusting a few things. Um, depending on your body structure and things, our suits are custom made anyway, but as trends change, uh, we have to adapt to the trends that we see on stage and off stage and things like that too. So uh, I've spent the last couple of days designing and creating new suits, um, new structures, new styles. So I'm excited about that. That'll be launching. Um, I did already put previews out, so you can already order them, but you're gonna see more of them as we go along. Now, I'll finish off the rest of this video with some footage from CCTS again, because like I said, I didn't get a chance to edit this past week. So let's do that. Oh yeah. Athlete search is still going. So get into the Facebook group. If you haven't already, we have live trainings in there. Um, so get in there, check that out and we'll see you on the next one.